up? It's your boy Gene Gesser, collector, and today we're doing a video. It's, this is more of a news video than a, rather than a, a collection video. Typically, I show y'all what I got, but today the news, not today, I think it happened over the past couple days. It's crazy. Y'all seen the title stock actors out here selling fakes, my boy? Like, we already knew everybody, in it, and I'm going to speak for myself right now. A lot of people and the people around me, a lot of people already knew that or had a suspicion that StockX was selling fakes because on Twitter or Instagram, you'll see a lot of people saying, hey, yo, I got these shoes from StockX and they fake. Like, and people believed it, but it like didn't really hit hard until Nike came out and said, if y'all hadn't read the article or anything like that, um, I'll give y'all basically a brief rundown of it. Of it. Um, Nike bought four pairs of their own shoes, Nike branded shoes, uh, over uh, the course of two months. And they did their own check to make sure they're authentic. And no one knows authentic shoe better than Nike because they make the actual shoe. StockX says that they have the best authentic authenticator. I think they said they do like 100 tracks to make sure the shoe is authenticated. They guarantee it. Blah, blah, blah. Nike is already going through a lawsuit with StockX because StockX sells NFTs um, for Nike shoes. So they're already going through something with Nike anyway. Nike just wants, uh, just just adding the cherry on top with buying some shoes and they happen to be fake. We don't know how many shoes uh, Nike bought. Maybe they bought 10 and four of them were fake, but who knows? All we know is StockX, which is supposed to be the best the biggest uh, shoe reselling company and the best at checking to make sure that their customers receive authentic shoes. Well, they lied. <laughs> uh, and that's the crazy thing, man, especially with a, a company as big as StockX. Once you get that big, and I can only imagine that they got so big that that stuff just slipping through the cracks. Like they get so many shoes. Like I've sold the StockX before and you know all my stuff is always legit but i assume that so many people are sending their shoes to stock x um that that some just slipped through the crack but can you imagine over the course of two months four pairs of nike shoes and these are the brands the only ones that they announced that were fake that they shown out of the four was the new patent leather bread jordan ones and it's just crazy like it's good. I want to say it's a wrap for StockX. They're done, but if you think about it, StockX is more than just shoes. Shoes is a big part of StockX, but they have watches, they have purses, they have cars, they have toys, they have they have sections, a lot of sections to do with StockX. Shoes is just one of their bigger markets. So if shoes go down, which I don't think that it will, I think it's going to probably take a big hit. A lot of people are going to stop messing with StockX until they fix their shit, basically. And they really need to because I can't imagine spending $400, $500 on a pair of Dunks or some Jordan 1s or even up up from there. Like I'm talking four, five hundred. They shoes go up to $1,000, $4,000, $5,000, etc. So I can imagine getting some shoes that I've wanted for a long time. Finally getting the bread to, to buy said shoes and they fake. Boy, I be hot, like dumb hot. And the crazy thing with StockX is they do not do returns. So if you get these shoes, you say, hey, these are expensive. These are my grails. I just want to check and make sure these are authentic. And you go through, you know, a third party authenticator. They say that they fake, right? And then from there, you're like, yo, I just spent, you know, $500 to $1,000 on my favorite shoes. I need to return these and, you know, make a complaint. StockX would be like, hey, those ain't the shoes we sent you, G. Those aren't the right shoes. We ain't returning that G. No returns around here, boy. Like, can you imagine that? That'd be insane. Like, so you hit over the head for 500 to whatever the amount of shoe is, and you stuck with a fake shoe. Bro, they need to get it together, dog. Like, they need to take a big hit. StockX needs to sit down, go back to the drawing board, and figure out how can they make this right. Because who knows how many fake shoes they've sold to people. Luckily, I only got one pair of shoes from StockX. I only bought one pair of shoes from StockX, and they were just some beaters, and I'll show y'all. They just some beaters. I got some mids. They look like I like the colorway of these. So, and these are only like 130 bucks or something crazy like this. If these are fake, who cares, right? You know what I mean? You can see I kind of wore these down and wore these a lot. But if these are fakes, I don't care. But I can't imagine getting some, some, what is the, 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 the infamous 
legendary Marcus Jordan Trophy Room 1 Jordans. The, the uh, was the freeze out game Trophy Room 1s. Imagine spending, well, I think they two to $3,000 or so. Paying for those and they fake. Crazy. So, <laughs> this is just information. I'm just giving y'all. It's the first time I'm doing this type of informational video because this was just one of the craziest things I've seen in the sneaker game since I've been in it. I've only been in the game for like a year and a half or so. Um, but still, this is insane, dog. They need to really get their stuff together. StockX, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, that's that's wild, man. And, and Nike, I hope they win the lawsuit at this point. Like, and it's crazy that Nike went through and said, you know what? We know they out here selling fakes and they out here using our name with these NFTs, think it's a game. You know what? Let's get back at them. And they did. So, good look, Nike. Um, I know it was only in self-interest because y'all going through a lawsuit with those guys over there, but you're really informing the people and letting them know, look, it is fakes. There's no more people on Twitter that you think that may be telling the truth or may or may not be telling the truth. Nike said it. They selling fakes out there, dog. So beware, if y'all buy anything over StockX, I, I guess be careful, I don't know. I'm done for a while with StockX, I mean, until they, until we know they got their stuff together. But y'all get in the comments, let me know what y'all think. Have y'all bought some expensive shoes from StockX? You know, and if y'all have, let me know what it was, and y'all better go get that thing checked from a third party and make sure y'all good. Anyways, your boy, Genius, is out.